Hello everyone, Skids here and welcome to episode 24 of Fallen Vegas Mods Weekly. This time I have 13 mods ready for you, which is a new record, so let's get to them. First one I have for you is called Enclave Vertebrate Crash Size by Headshots98. This mod has 10 new vertebrate crash sites into Mojave. For me, this mod's main purpose was to add a little bit of action into somehow empty vanilla Mojave. These crash sites were scattered all around the wasteland and best way to experience them is just to play through game and eventually stumble upon them. Now on each one of these crash sites you can find a pack of enemies along with a unique loot. Now these enemies are really tough and I would not advise to attack them unless you're at least level 20 because you will probably get owned. Now the loot itself is also very strong and it can help you in your game for sure. Each one of these loot crates also includes a new unique weapon. Now depending on where the vertebrate crashed, you can find different types of enemies on the crash sites themselves. For example, you can find scavengers, raiders or some enclave soldiers there. On each one of the crash sites you can also find unique mission orders that will tell you what the hell was enclave actually doing on that place. I personally only found one bug with this mod and that is that sometimes the enclave soldiers did not attack me for some unknown reason, I'm not sure if it was my fault or it was just a small bug, or, but you know it kinda bothered me. Other than that this mod offers a great challenge along with some unique weapons and so I definitely recommend it. Next up we have Bad Motherfucker by some guy. Now this review will include a lot of swear words so if you don't feel like listening to them and you can go ahead and skip to the next mod. Well this mod adds a new companion into your game. He is called Bad Motherfucker and you can find him near Good Springs General Goods Store. Bad Motherfucker is a super mutant and he has a lot of, lot of to say to you. Motherfucker? That's right Motherfucker. So let's, let's have a quick interview with Motherfucker. So what do you think about all the haters out there? Motherfucker. I couldn't agree more Motherfucker. So what do you think about all the new skimpy armors that are just overflowing the nexus? Motherfucker. Yeah, 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 I got a feeling you would say that. And what do you think about my channel, motherfucker? Is it any good? Fuck. Oh, well then. Fuck you as well. Anyway, Bad Motherfucker is a great companion, you can explore Wasteland with him, he has a lot to offer to you, his insights and his, you know, you know his thoughts are, are great for you, you just have to download and install him in combat, he will just motherfucker enemies and, you know, he's great, he's great, there's nothing bad to say about him and you just got to download him and just make sweet love to him or whatever you wanna do with him. So yeah, go ahead and download him now and, and make sure he stays in a load order or else he will find you and kill you. Moving on we've got two armor mods. First one is MK117 Prototype Combat Power Armor Voiced and DMR by Donta1979. Phew, that was a long ass name. Anyway, you can find this armor near, you know, if you don't wanna know, you can just skip ahead for a few seconds because the mod actually doesn't put it in the description. So you get a few seconds right now. And yeah, you can find it at Vertebrate Crash Site that is located near Searchlight Airport. And anyway, this armor comes with a lot of unique things like unique textures, unique meshes, unique voice. It also acts uh, similar to some of the other armors that also already that also distribute you steam packs. First, let's take a look at its visual. But like I mentioned, it has custom textures and meshes. It was inspired by some of the Halo's armors and I definitely have to say I like it. As you can see there are tons and tons of details that just make this armor look very good. For example on the helmet you can see some text, there is also a stripper on the side and you know it just generally has a lot of details. It's a little bit dark but you know I still like it. Then we have the custom voice, you can hear this voice whenever you enter combat, you end combat. Or you know just during combat, so it basically acts like you know combat dialogue of the followers. Now there is a lot of unique combat dialogue for this armor. So as you can see the voice acting is pretty good, it fits the armor very well and I did like it. And the third unique thing about this armor is that it distributes steam packs whenever your health is low. Now this armor also has a 65 damage threshold and uh, thanks to the automatic distributing steam packs it is pretty 
freaking overpowered. You also need the power armor training for it to work, but you know, that can be obtained pretty easily. The armor itself also comes with a custom gun. You can see it on screen right now. It has custom textures and meshes as well. It also has a custom scope and again I think it was inspired by Halo or at least I saw some similar weapons like this one in Halo. It looks great as well, I really did like it, it could be released as a standalone weapon and it would still get tons of endorsements I think. And yeah I generally really liked it, in combat it worked fine as well, it was a little bit overpowered just like the armor is as well. And it owned the whole vertebrate crash side without any problems, so yeah, the <laughs> armor and weapons are overpowered so... You know, you can change that if you know how to use GAC, but if you don't, you just have to wait for a new version that Matt will put out that has a lower damage threshold. Other than that, this armor is great, the custom voice is amazing, the custom textures and meshes look great as well, and the distributing stim packs is a nice bonus, so make sure you go ahead and check out this mod. Next armor I have for you is mainly for girls that play Fallout or boys, I don't even know who uses female characters these days. It is called Vegas Girl Variations by Dangman. Most of you probably already know the original Vegas Girl outfit by Raven Gwing 75 Outro of this mod decided to create few different tops variations that would go with the original jeans mod. Now all these new tops were already created by some of the other moderators, but this mod decided to mesh them up together with the jeans from the other mod and you know we basically have a mishmash of different mods here but the, all together they work very well. As you can see each tab has a different style, most of them are not skimpy, they don't show you know much skin, they could easily fit in game as well. In total there are 15 different outfits, there are a few different color variations for some of the outfits and you know there is a lot to choose from, so you will definitely find at least one outfit that you will like. Now these armors can be found in the bathroom of the Prospector Saloon in Good Springs. Now according to Mato, this mod is not yet finished, but he doesn't have any more free time, so he decided to release it as it is right now. I personally think it is still really good, The like I said, the tabs go with the jeans very well. And I definitely recommend them for anyone who liked the original Vegas outfit and for anyone who wants some new girl clothes for his female character that are not skimpy. Next up we've got 5 mods from same matter. Now if you've been on Nexus lately you most likely know on which mods we're gonna be taking a look at. Yes that's right we're gonna be taking a look at improved textures by Tau34Russ. To be specific, so far the mod to created new textures for ED, robots, super mutants, dead claws, and cyber dogs. Now, since I don't think I have much to say about each one of these, you know, mods separately, we're gonna take a look at all of them at once. All of these new textures are definitely now all of these new textures definitely look a lot better than the ones in vanilla game. Now I did not really compare them to any other texture mods out there. The only one that was compared was the robots pack. And that was compared to, I think, some of the older textures I had. And when I compared it, then I think that Tau 34 Rust textures were a lot better. Now, as you can see, all of these new textures look amazing. They fit in the game, they're kinda rusty, but at the same time, they still look very good. Now, my favorite retexture is probably the one for the robots. You know, it includes all the basic type of soft robots like Securitron, Protectron, Robo Brain. You know, the security runs at Mr. House Place, and you know, just the all the basic robots you can think of. Then, the second favorite one is probably the Dead Cloud Texture Pack. I haven't seen many of those so far, I'm not even sure if I saw any Dead Cloud Texture Pack. I'm not sure if people are too scared of them or what. And I have to say, it definitely looks great. All of the Dead Clouds were texture, including Alpha Male, uh, Mothers, uh, Young Dead Clouds, Blind Dead Clouds and the usual dead class as well. Then we've got the Super Mutants pack, really like that one as well. In this pack there are Broods included, Masters, Nightkins as well. And I have to say that my favorite mutant was probably the Nightkin I just mentioned. Then we got some smaller textures for the Cyberdogs, which include the ones from DLC and Rex as well, and for the ED. Martyr also took a look at some of the DLCs, he retextured the robots that are included in Old World Blues DLC along with the one in Lonesome Road. But don't worry if you don't have any of the DLCs you can download the separate version that only includes the vanilla robots. Now like I said, great mod, I'm definitely looking forward to more from Tau 34 Us. And if you still don't have any of your favorite you know, texture pack then I definitely recommend this one. Now let's take a look at 3 weapon mods. First one I have for you is Imi Desert Eagle by Millennia, Toasty Fresh and Naki. 
Once again we've got another millennia weapon, so you can find this weapon as always in Doug Mitchell's house, this time in his medical room by his fan. As you can see the mod itself comes with custom model and textures, texture job is great, again nothing to complain about. I'm seriously hoping that Bethesda contacts millennia to make few weapons for Fallout 4 because he literally just shits on everything they ever made for Fallout New Vegas and you know I just want to see some of his work in Fallout 4. And yeah like I said great job again, meshes and textures are amazing, the mod itself also comes with a custom sounds and also it is included in leveled list. It also comes with three modifications that completely change the look of the weapon and I really do love the modded version. As you can see it is now gold, it has extended magazine and it just looks freaking amazing. I think that this is one of my favorite weapons from Millennia. I think it definitely deserves a spot at least in top 3 and I just have to say that it is really amazing. The Desert Eagle itself is uh, one of my favorite weapons and just seeing it in Fallout made by Millennia just you know made me happy. In combat the weapon worked fine as well, it was a little bit stronger than the normal pistols just like Desert Eagle in real life and yeah it generally worked fine against robots or against normal enemies so like I said again great job Millennia and your team you did amazing job and yeah again I definitely recommend this weapon along with all the other weapons Millennia and his team made. Next up we've got something different called Combined Weapons by Kane McGrath. Now this mod allows you to combine different melee and miscellaneous items into one. Now I personally think this is a very cool idea and I'm happy that someone finally made it come true. Now there are 4 primary weapons, fire axe, pole clue, rake and sledgehammer that can be combined with other 10 different secondary weapons. Now depending on what kind of combination you choose, that type of weapon we will also create. So for example if you choose fire axe and knife, the crafted weapon will have knives duct taped to the axe's blade. And you know so on, if you choose the pole clue, all of the secondary weapons are usually glued on top, if you choose the sledgehammer the weapons will duct to the top of it and similar thing also applies to rake. Now when it comes to damage, the weapon takes the whole damage of the primary weapon along with half of the damage of the secondary weapon. Now probably my favorite combinations are the one with Fragmine and the Satchel because those are throwable explosives and I simply loved those. Now as you can see all these new creative weapons also have a custom new look that uses the textures that are in your game along with the meshes. For creating these weapons you will also need the duct tape so make sure you stack up on those and the weapons themselves can be also found on NPCs or in vendors because they were included in leveled list as well. Now in combat they worked fine, like I said the damage is pretty good and I generally never had problems dealing with enemies. So like I said great and unique mod so definitely go ahead and check it out. And the last mod I have for you is called MK46 Light Machine Gun by J Tucker 40 This mod adds a new weapon into the game. You can find it in Doug Mitchell's house on his operating table. Or there is also an optional ESP that puts the weapon into Vault 34 Armory. Now as you can see it comes with custom model and textures. The textures, I'm gonna be honest here, were good, but the one for magazine was not so great, I have to admit I did not really like it, it was kinda shiny, kinda glossy and it just did not fit well with the rest of the weapon but the rest of the gun, the handle, the grip, everything else was pretty good, I did like it except for that ammo texture, that one was kinda awful so yeah I'm out to, you should work on that one a little bit but otherwise it is a great weapon, I did like it the mesh is very great as well. Then itself also comes with three modifications. Now the modifications look good too, except for the scope. I don't know why it was so wide. You know, it kind of looked weird, but otherwise, pretty good modifications as well. The weapon itself as whole looks good. Like I said, except for the magazine and scope texture. Mod also comes with custom firing sound and with the working reload animation. In combat, the weapon was pretty powerful. You know, it is a light machine gun. So you know it's not gonna be weak and it pretty much owned the enemies without any problems. Overly, Mato did a good job at this weapon, only thing I didn't like was like I mentioned the magazine and the scope texture but otherwise a great weapon, I did like it and I'm looking forward to more from this monitor. And yeah guys I guess that's it for this episode, I hope you liked it. It took me quite a lot of time to create especially because I had 13 mods for you so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, uh, tell me what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout, Skyrim, Daisy and Stalker content and I will see you next time.